Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video, taking your time to watch this video. Um, so today I'll be showing you how to change the font on any printable inserts. Again, this applies for only Mac user and I am not quite sure how to use it on PC. I would imagine it will be very similar as long as you have Adobe, sorry, is it Adobe? Adobe? I think it's like Adobe Reader. Um, markup tool. As long as it has that tool, you can still do it on PC as well. So for Mac, you don't need any special tools to do this. Um, you should have it already installed on your computer. If not, then you may have to download it, um, but most Macs should have it. Um, again, these are all only for personal use. Please don't um, edit any printable insert and then sell them as yours. I mean, these artists or these owners take their time to, you know, create this insert for everyone. Uh, make sure, again, this is personal use only. So let's get started. When you do open up your file your pdf file and again these are free printable at uh, peanut planner Cole's um, facebook group. you need to be in her facebook group in order to obtain these free inserts again personal use so what you do when you do open up this is what you see on the left hand side of course you see different like multiple pages of inserts that are listed on the sidebar and then at the top toolbar, so we're not going to touch these at all. On the right here, there are three different components. So we want to focus on this little briefcase that looks like. And then when you hover above, it will say show markup toolbar. So when you select that, this bar will appear, will show up. Um, you have tons here, but right now our main focus is on the A. So that's for text. And also we will use the shape to cover up the existing font on the printable insert. The reason being is that so we could cover up with same background color so that we when we add a text on top blends in very nicely. Hopefully I'm not talking too fast. If I am, please let me know. I can slow it down for sure. Okay, so right now, as you can see, we have all the days, Monday to Friday or to Sunday, and there's daily tracker Monday to Sunday, which is awesome, really nice. Um, however, there are times when we want to, maybe you want to add and track your, your dinner or diet or whatnot, or spending, and, and a lot of times we write the same stuff over and over again every single week. It wouldn't be nice to just already have that print out for you. So here, what this is why I'm showing you. So if we go to back to the shape tool, okay, so for instance, maybe um, I want to change the font. It's a little bit too small. So we want to go to the fourth column again, or for fourth eye icon, and then we want to hover. Uh, I choose the square, and square will do its job. So I'll get this little box, huge box, but you can definitely resize it. So um, at first it was a white background. Um, it's gray because I already selected that color earlier. So what you want to do right beside the A and that's text is this little box here. Um, it's called fill color. So when you do select that, you have a bunch of colors and a lot of times these are standard. So what you want to do, you want to select show colors show colors at the bottom and there is a button where you can select so when you select that you get this um this menu that pop up and there's a bunch of different colors here so your color wheel i guess is called hover above the eyedropper near the bottom of the menu so you can see that there's blue and right beside it, it's eyedropper. Hopefully you see my cursor here. So when you select that, it's going to allow you to magnify to a, a, an area that you're hovering above. And when you do select that, it selects the color that you are above it, <laughs> I guess. Uh, so right now, what we want to do, we're going to go hover above here or anywhere. I mean, like wherever the color that you want to select. So I want to select this color and ta-da, it matches very well and it blends in with the color behind Monday. So let's close the color menu. Okay, so now it's so big. So what do we do next is that we want to resize this box. We really want to resize it. So you can see at the all four corners, you do see a little blue circle and that's where it's a handle bar that when you hover above you can see your air your cursor changes and this means that you allow you to drag 
and click and drag so you can resize it. So when you click on it, you want to resize it. Normally, what I find the easiest is to resize at the corners rather than in the middle because in the middle you can definitely hover up and down. Um, but when you do resize, if you resize from the corner, it resizes um, top and the side as well, if that makes sense. So you can see that I'm resizing and I want to align here. I still want the black border outside. I don't want to cover it. If I cover it, then you'll see like the black border will cut off. So I want to make sure that it's still in there. Even if you um, make the box smaller, it's totally okay. Your goal is to cover up the date or the day. So that's all you have to do. And then so once I align that perfectly, I want to make sure that it's small enough that it's covered up. It is a lot of work at first, but once you get hang of it and you save a template, it's super easy to change it when you need the insert. So very easy. So I cover it and <laughs> voila, it's beautiful. Okay, so let's do another one too. So now it becomes a bigger one. We want to resize it like this, select. Um, you can definitely copy and paste too. So like on Mac, you will, you will select, you will hit Command C as copy and Command V for cop paste. And, that, and it's another way to copy and paste. So now I want to do the same thing as well. Oh, shoot. Okay, so I'll get back to you guys once I'm finished covering all the letters, the words. Okay, so now I am back. Okay, so now we cover up all the days. So what we do next is that we want to add the text. Now the text, you have plenty option to select. So let's go to text um, size and let's choose, uh, let's just choose a random text. Okay. Um, what I do is just select, um, oops, just select anywhere. We can definitely move that over. Uh, so what I do next is I want to make sure that this is, oh, okay. Uh, you want to hover above the little bar, the blue little circle, and as long as I give you that arrow, it means that you can drag. I guess I'm not doing right. Okay, one second. Let me select this again. Okay, maybe I have to put a text first. Okay, let's move it. Okay, there you are. So you select and put some random text in it. Maybe you just run right Monday. Okay, and then you hover. Um, you hover, you hover, your cursor has to hover above the little circle blue. And then you drag to the right to make it expand. And the reason we, I'll show you in a bit. So once you select it and drag to that fits exactly the same size at the, the header, what you want to do is that you want to, for me, I, I like to do this. I want to make sure that this set is center in the middle. Um, so what I do when I select the text, I go to the A and then I select these middle lines. If you see it, hopefully you see my cursor over right here. They're all the middle center. So we select that it centers the text. And then you can increase this font too. So the font size. So I will increase to eight um, or even 10, depending what font you selected. Um, maybe choose like super basic. Right, and then there's many options that you can choose. Oops. Okay, now that's way too big. <laughs> Let's do 10. 10 will be a nice size. Okay, maybe it's a little bit. Uh, maybe 9, 9.5. Let's try that. Okay, maybe I can't do 9.5. So let's do 9. Yeah, maybe 9. 9 seems to fit perfectly for it. And then so what I do next is I... I select a text that I created Monday, a copy, and then command V for paste. And uh, you need to make sure you select somewhere else so that we can select the text and move it. Because if you don't do that, it's going to ask you to edit the text. And that's, what, no, that's not what you want to do. You want to make sure you select somewhere else that you don't see the little hover, um, like transparent box around it. And, and then then you can drag it away. 
Okay, so so you keep doing that. So I'll be back once I finish everything. Okay, so now I'm back. So I finish Monday to Sunday. I probably want to add something on the top right corner as well. Maybe I want to write uh, imp important to uh, important notes or to do this week's this week or uh, do not forget or pay bills. I mean, there's endless. Um, information that you can definitely put on there. So for me, maybe I put like uh, this week, right? So yeah, customize to whatever that works, works for you. And bottom here, I probably want to write, maybe I want to track um, my diet. So then I'll write like, did I drink water? Did I eat enough protein? And or maybe I need to track that. So like Monday, I checked off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so on um, my diet. Or another way to say is like we can track your dessert. Do we track? Do we eat dessert every day? Yes, dessert. Yes. Okay, that will be an example. Um, at the bottom here, I I find it might be useful if you like write. I don't know, like maybe work. You can write your work hours or um, which day did you work or do you call someone or maybe conference call, right? Conference. Um, Confer uh, for some reason I like blanked out conference call or you know like anything um so then maybe here I want to write spending so what do I spend on each day and so on so you can total out total up the week up weekly spending and then on the right you can write um let's see what can we write uh cleaning do we clean um and do we to buy, obviously this list is going to be so long for buy stuff, but you can write anything there. So, so that's how you would edit and customize to that fits your needs. Um, and this works for all insert. It's not just for peanut planet co inserts, um, but you can definitely do any inserts that you bought online and you can, you can do that. And you can also like, add header, um, not header, sorry, you can highlight or add colors to as well, like underline. Um, there's plenty of things that you can totally do. So maybe you want to track like, I don't know, like maybe debt pay, um, payment or something like that you can check off. So that becomes, you can change this color too as well. So maybe I want to change uh, this to red because, oh, not box. Um, I definitely don't want red like that. No, okay. Um, let me close that. Uh, maybe I want the font to be red. Hopefully, okay, maybe like that. Maybe not like that. Okay, maybe... Um, so, like this. Oh yeah, right here. Sorry, I, it's, I'm totally off. Uh, you go to the text and then you select the color to maybe red. Um, maybe spending is... Uh, color would be green. Uh, because I'm using green marker in my planner to track that, uh, you know, and many more. I mean, this is so functional. It's totally up to you that you this will be your planner. Uh, maybe you want to highlight it. Maybe important, like, right? So, like, maybe this is very important. Maybe I want to highlight that component. So, maybe I want to, like, let me try that. Let me see if it can works. I never actually tried this before. Let me try. Uh, so let's try this together for the first time. So maybe highlight week. Let's see if I can highlight to yellow, maybe. Or maybe, maybe I just don't know how to do this. Uh, I haven't really played with this component yet. So yeah, okay, that's too much. Okay, never mind, it didn't show up. <laughs> but anyways, um, I mean, sure, there is plenty you can do and customize on this printable insert. I mean, again, this is free and you don't have to pay for anything for it. Um, to edit your document PDF, especially nowadays, there's so many free apps up there that you can totally use. Um, I think I mentioned earlier that you can use a website called PDF Escape, and again, it's P D F E S C A P E dot com. Um, I'll put the links down low, down below, just in case if you missed it and you want to check it out, you can totally do that. Um, but there are lots of like apps. Um, 
on iOS, like on Apple or Android that you can download and you can edit from there as well. And if you don't have a computer uh, that has this type of software. But then again, here is, here is, and this is my, I guess, the insert that I kind of uh, created with you guys. And hopefully it makes a lot more sense. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know by leaving a comment or uh, message me directly if you like. Um, I could also do a live video if that helps you guys. Otherwise, I think this is pretty simple. Hopefully, I I explain clearly and, and slowly as well. Uh, I may have you talk a little bit fast, but yeah, that's it. Okay, take care, guys. Bye.